Hi, my name is Hernando Rocha from Aficionado Channel, and on this episode, we're going to talk about smart RODI units and the basic installation of one. Richard needed a unit that was versatile, that was portable, and that it had all those fail safe that I was going to give him the peace of mind. And uh, he specifically went with the IceCap smart RODI unit. It comes with a built in cage. You can either put it as a standalone or you can mount it on the wall. It comes with uh, leak sensors, it has built in timers, it has a booster pump, it has everything that it needs to work properly and with the least amount of waste. Let's take a look at this thing and uh, how it works. To start with, what's an RO unit? Reverse osmosis deionized uh, filtration system. What it does is just pushes the water to different medias in order to remove the TDS or the total dissolved solids. What are they? They're particles of metals and minerals that go through our water. The first stage, which is the sediment filter. It's uh, the smallest micron. This unit comes with a one micron. And what it does, it just pushes the water through it to remove the larger particulates that are on the water. From stage one, it goes to your stage two, which is your carbon filter. This one comes on a five micron. I keep saying micron, what's a micron? Micron will be the size of the opening that the water has to go through. The smaller the opening, then the smaller the particulate that is gonna actually make it through. So we start with a really small micron, which was one, stepped it up to a five. From this stage, stage number two, which is your carbon block, it goes to your third stage, which is your membrane, and this is the heart of the unit. The way it works with the membrane, it has a pipe through the center and is wrapped on different layers. And what the water does, it just forces its way through each layer and it makes it to the outside of the membrane and out the unit. Again, whatever particulars made it through the one micron and then the five micron are gonna go through this unit, which is pressurized this stage. And whatever comes through this stage is gonna go into your DI resin, which what it does, it changes the electrical charge of that particle and it absorbs it kind of like a magnet and it just holds onto it and the DI resin comes in a color changing from I believe it's from blue to brown is this one and it actually lets you know when it's time to change it this unit it allows you to read each stage TDS so you know is my sediment filter ready to be changed or my carbon block or my membrane or my DI resin if you happen to use one that doesn't change colors so it's a really smart unit. I like the fact that it comes with uh, some built-in fail-safe redundancies. It has a stick-on sensor on it. You can put it underneath the unit somewhere where you, know, you believe the water might collect in case uh, there's a leak. And it'll detect any moisture that's in that area and it'll shut off the water production. You don't have to worry about just water spilling over and over and over. I flooded my house many times. This would have been nice to have. Another built-in redundancy that this thing has gives you the ability to set timers. So let's say you're making water, you get a phone call, an emergency, you have to leave the house. You don't have to turn off the unit. What you can do is set a timer. And let's say you need to make 20 gallons of water. Set a timer for an hour, two hours, three hours, depending on uh, how many gallons per day your unit uh, makes. I believe this one comes with a hundred gallon per day membrane. And depending on your uh, water pressure, you can upgrade it to 150 gallons. That's another thing. This unit comes with a built-in pressure pump, a booster pump. That way, every time that you're making water, is making water efficiently. You don't have to guess. You don't have to bring the unit to the opposite side of the house. So it gives you that ability to put it anywhere. So you have the sensor, you have the timers, 
you have your booster pump. So it's a, it's a well-built, well-packed, it's like a power punch. It has everything that you need and the things that you didn't think that you needed. Another thing that I like about this unit is that uh, every time you turn the unit on and off, it actually flushes the water. It has an automatic flush setting built in. Right? Another thing that I like about this unit is this frame or this cage that it's built on. It's very compact, makes it nice and portable. Everything has its place. There's no loose wires, no loose cables. So for those of you that like clean setups, this would be it. And it comes coated with this special paint that uh, I guess it keeps the rust away. Well, now that uh, we talked about the stages, we talked about the brain, we talked about the booster pump and the cage, let's install this thing. In order to install this unit, there's three things that you need. Water source, a drain for your wastewater, and then a flat surface if you're gonna permanently mount the unit or if you're gonna pull it out and put it away every time you use it. So once you have those three, it's fairly simple. Most of the cases, I put the units in a garage, in a bathroom, underneath the sink, but now we're Richard. No, 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 no. With him, we gotta use the big boy tools. Let's go. Why do we need this tool? We live in sunny Florida, home of the hurricanes, and if you want to stay alive, we have to live in concrete boxes. So we got to drill a hole through about eight inches of concrete. We have to make sure we don't hit the rebar, and we have to make sure there's no electrical lines anywhere near us. We know there is an electrical box here, which is used for the AC unit, and I know that there's an electrical box on the inside. I just have to make sure whatever we drill the hole, we stay away for power lines, water lines, cable lines, telephone lines, any line. So what are we gonna do next? We gotta measure. First installed the unit is recommended that you flush it without the membrane and without the DI resin. We're going to do that for 15 minutes and uh, we're going to set up a timer.
when you're packing the DI resin, you want to make sure that you pack it all the way and that there's no air bubbles or gaps in there. Let's talk about what we did. We show you guys how to drill a hole in concrete. Ram the line nice and neat, protect it uh, from the elements and anybody working in the backyard. And now we're installing the unit. I love this unit. I love the capabilities. I love the functionality. I like the timers. I like the sensors, everything. I even love this little wrench that comes with it. It has an adapter that snaps into place. It's got these four parts that stick out. They snap on the actual wrench for the membrane. Whoever thought about that, they were thinking. The only thing that I don't like about it is I wish these teeth were a little bit longer. If you don't have it on the right angle, it's going to slip off. But other than that, it's probably one of the best wrenches that I've seen. If you're in the market for an RO unit, I seriously, seriously would give this unit a, a chance. I can't tell you how many times I flooded my house. Probably six times in, last, in the last year. And I'm still married. If you're in the market, for a smart RO unit, I strongly suggest that you give ISCAP a chance. Great unit, small package.